Are you guys ready? Been waiting to stream Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power after watching that promising trailer? Well, you're in luck because we've gathered all the information you'd need about this show, including the cast's recent appearance at the Comic-Con and the clips they shared with the audience there. The nerd inside of us is bubbling with excitement. Let's dive right in. First off, let's see what secrets the cast has revealed. Isildur is all set to be one of the main characters in the series. The fans are sure that he has a very crucial role in the series, and he's being brought to life by none other than Maxim Baldry. Discussing his character, the actor explained that while the audience knows Isildur and has seen him in the movies, but through the season, they'll really get to know who he is and where he's from. He's also mentioned that characters' trials and troubles will be highlighted, and we think this is a way to build up to the point where he finally arrives and the decision he makes. Character development has always been Lord of the Rings' forte, and we're hoping the season would be no different. We just can't wait for this to finally hit our screen. It will be a marathon, we promise you that. Oh, and there's love, of course. There aren't any series that doesn't include at least a little bit of forbidden love. The same is the case with The Lord of the Rings, where two characters, Orondir, played by Ismail Cruz Cordova, and Bronwyn, played by Nazan and Boniadi, are star-crossed lovers. One is an elf, while the other is a human, and we know how much elves look down on human beings. Both the actors have explained that in the series, they're outcasts and can't be together because of their people, but are in love with each other. You know what? This is pretty relatable, and we think that a major appeal to Tolkien's work is the relatability factor. While we may not live in a fantasy world, the emotions, the characters, and their struggles are all based on lived experiences, and that's what connects us to them. But this isn't all. There's so much more to this show. The series is bringing us many unique and powerful characters, such as the first ever female dwarf, Disa. She's a princess of the city of Casa Doom. The actor, Sofia Nomvete, said that she's really honored to have been chosen to play a character that has never been played before. We must say, things just got a lot more interesting. Don't you guys think? The actor has revealed that her character has her own identity, struggles, powers, and ambitions. Adding to this, she manages her household along with everything. Get the correlation? Real life to real life, baby. Moving on to the clips, first comes the elf vs. dwarf. If you guys were at the giant room of the Comic-Con, you'd know what we're talking about. Those who were sitting at home and were busy elsewhere at the time, we've got you covered. The clip starts with Elrond taking a trip to meet the dwarf prince Durin. He enters the chamber with a smile, but isn't responded to in kind. Durin enters the room and is greeted with cheers, but that comes to a quick stop as the prince raises a closed fist. Ignoring Elrond, the prince tells the crowd that there will be a competition between him and the elf to see who can endure more. The competition involves breaking rocks until one of them can break no more. That's not all, as the prince says that if he loses, he will grant him one beneficial thing, and if he dared to lose, he shall never return. We know Elrond doesn't back down, so he agrees to the challenge. The clip shows Durin breaking the rock, and just as the elf is about to do the same, the screen fades to black leaving us in suspense if he was able to do it or not. We'll find out when the season comes. Till that, wait we shall. Next up, Arondir makes a break for it. This clip had a lot of action and made the wait even more exciting. The clip starts with Arondir and some fellows trapped as prisoners by the orcs. Arondir starts a rebellion to make a run for it. A fight breaks out and the prisoners use the chains they're bound by as weapons. Using chains as weapons, they have the element of surprise. We'll give them that. A major problem is the shackles which stop them from escaping. We see a prisoner trapped and die, and if that ain't irony, we don't know what is. Orondir looks around and finds an axe on the ground. He picks it up and lunges toward the orcs to fight them. At least that's what we thought. Instead, he surprises us and the orcs by ramming the axe into what is providing the orcs shade. The sunlight comes through and the orcs are barbecued. Unfortunately, the clip ends here and now it's just us and our imagination running wild. And finally, we see that Elrond and Galadriel get to talk. This clip shows a calm moment between the two most well-known characters. They're in a forest with the sun out and are surrounded by trees and bright yellow leaves. They talk about the art of a ship, and Elrond thinks about how much Galadriel has changed, from being a kid to now commanding the armies of the north. Quite the achievement if you ask us. He says to her that he expected to see her covered in dirt and mud, to which she replies, more like frostbite and troll blood. He asks her to tell him about everything, but unfortunately, you guessed it, the screen turns black, killing our hopes and dreams to find out more. From all the information that we've gathered, we can't really judge what the series is going to be like, but you can bet that these guys have us hooked. From the forbidden love to the fighting, we expect everything to be perfect. Coming to our screens after a lot of development on September 2nd, 2022. Moving on to the latest news and updates. First up, Stephen Colbert wants a part in the series. Host of The Late Show, Stephen Colbert is a true ringer when it comes to Lord of the Rings. He's one of those guys who knows every single detail of the Lord of the Rings world by heart and might have even read the books a few too many times. At the Comic Con in San Diego, he was made the host because of his love for the series. He joined the 
stage with the producers and proceeded to ask them a lot of questions. Colbert had a ball correcting people on their pronunciations and talking about his favorite characters in depth. The host also said that he'd been offered to watch the entire series but declined because he wanted to watch it alongside everyone. We'd have taken the opportunity in an instant. Before it all ended, a question was addressed to the producers, saying if they'd include Steven in the second season, and to our surprise, one of the producers pulled out a paper and took Steven's signature, saying it was a permanent promise. Guess we'll see what kind of an actor he turns out to be. What do you guys think? Moving on, Lord of the Rings is going all anime. That's right, folks. An anime movie named The War of Rohirrim is all set to hit our screens. The New Line Cinema has partnered up with Warner Brothers Animation to bring this project to life. The film is going to be in 2D and will be centered around Helm's Deep. New Line Cinema also said that the project will come to screens fast, and that's the kind of news we want. President of Warner Brothers also said that this movie will cover another part of Tolkien's world that has yet to be told. Woohoo! Can this year get any better? The movie makers aren't the only ones excited, though. Elijah Wood, the actor playing the role of Frodo, also said that he can't wait to watch it. Fans of the series are just as excited about it as anyone. One of the fans said that it's a dream come true since it's their favorite fantasy series and it's being made by their favorite production house. Another fan mentioned that anime had always been his favorite thing to watch and to see such a title be available in all forms is a blessing. Movies, seasons, and now onto an anime, there's something for each fan out there. And finally, what else is Amazon dishing out? Coming to Amazon Prime, Lord of the Rings isn't the only series that's creating so much hype. A League of Their Own is all set to come to our screens, a series about women who finally get to play baseball professionally. This one is a remake of the movie which was released in 1992. It will premiere on the platform on the 12th of August, so keep your eyes peeled. A movie called 13 Lives is also set to release on the 5th of August. Based on a true story, this one is about a group of 13 young boys and their coach who are trapped in a cave that's overflowing with water. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is also coming out on the 10th of August. This time, our favorite hedgehog, along with his partner Tails, is in a race against Dr. Robotnik to find the mystical emerald. We can't wait for these to arrive already. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the new season of Lord of the Rings? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and press that bell icon for the latest information and news like this, and we'll see you in the next one.